is CBS 46 News. Good morning to you on this Saturday at 727. I'm Megan Packer with a check of the morning headlines and developing right now in middle Georgia. Eight people were shot, one fatally overnight at an off-campus party in Fort Valley. That's about 30 miles southwest of Macon. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation posted a picture from the scene showing a crime tape up around a house and there's some cars out in the street. It is Fort Valley State's homecoming weekend. We'll share information as we learn more about it this morning. And happening in a few hours, the American Cancer Society is making strides against breast cancer walk. will happen at Atlantic Station at 9 a.m. Several members of our CBS 46 News team will be out there. We'll have live reports from the walk on Wake Up Atlanta at 9 a.m. So let's see if it'll be a nice morning to get out there and walk or run. Let's send it over to Alexandra. It'll be perfect. A beautiful wake up weather forecast. Hi, everyone. Good Saturday morning to you. Mostly clear skies. Temperatures in the 30s, the 40s, and 50 here in Atlanta. Slightly cooler than average. It is 51 in Athens. A mostly sunny, beautiful day. Above average, 76 with sunshine in Atlanta. 77 in Athens, perhaps heading up to North Georgia. You will be in the low 70s. Mostly sunny tomorrow, even warmer still than today. 81 east of the city in Athens, 81 in Rome as well, and 80 in LaGrange. And enjoy this beautiful weekend with sunshine and above average temperatures. Rain coming in two times this week. We'll see rain on Monday and then again on Wednesday night into Thursday. That system passes, but it leaves behind much cooler air. Next weekend, which is Halloween weekend, will be dry but much cooler than this weekend. Have a great day. We'll see you again in 30 minutes with another update. For some of you, your local news is next. The rest, stick around. This is CBS 46 News. Good morning. I'm Trace and Bragg. It's 757 on this Saturday. Your forecast is just moments away, but first here's a look at this weekend's headlines. Developing in middle Georgia this morning, eight people were shot, one fatally at an off-campus party in Fort Valley. The Georgia Bureau of Investigations posted this picture from the scene. It's Fort Valley State's homecoming weekend. The GBI says the person who died is not a student at that school. And today is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. The goal is to prevent drug addiction and overdose deaths. Listen to this. You can take any unwanted, unused, or expired prescription medications in your house to a designated drop-off location. To find one near you, head over to our website, cbs46.com. Now let's send it over to Alexandra Steele with your weather. Thanks so much, Jason. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to your Saturday. A clear skies, cool start for some of you. 39 right now in Blairsville. 30s, 40s, 50s here in town. 51 in Athens. A beautiful Beautiful sunny weekend, warming temperatures each and every day, above average by about 5 to 8 degrees. 80, 75 today in Rome, 76 in Atlanta, 77 in Athens. The average high is 72, so well above that. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. Some high clouds move in late in the day, 79. Enjoy this dry, sunny weekend. We've got rain, a few chances for it this week, and the next weekend, which is Halloween weekend, will be much cooler. So we've got rain coming in Monday afternoon afternoon and toward Monday night. That system clears pretty quickly. Sunny skies, dry conditions Tuesday. Rain once again Wednesday into Thursday. That clears for the weekend, but highs only in the low 60s. Have a great weekend and we'll see you again in 30 minutes with another update. This is CBS 46 News. Good morning to you. It is 827. I'm Megan Packer with a check of our morning headlines. We are following story in middle Georgia right now. Eight people shot, one fatally at an off-campus party in Fort Valley. The GBI posted this picture from the scene on Carver Drive. We've learned 27-year-old Tyler French of Byron was the person killed. The GBI says he was not a Fort Valley State student. It is the school's homecoming weekend. The man who's accused of shooting and killing a store clerk after refusing to put on a mask appeared in court this week. Victor Lee Tucker Jr. had a quick virtual hearing in DeKalb County. It's the first time we've seen him since the shooting in June. Tucker is accused of killing Lakita Willis after she asked him to wear a mask inside of the Big Bear grocery store. Investigators say he also shot at a sheriff's deputy hitting his bulletproof vest. Tucker faces six felonies, including malice murder. Let's get a check of our wake up weather now with meteorologist Alexandra Steele. 
Hi, Megan. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Good Saturday morning. A gorgeous, sunny, warm weekend and enjoy it because we've got rain on the way this week and next weekend will be much cooler. 30s into 50s. 39 right now in northeast Georgia. 50 in the city. Mostly sunny skies. About 5 degrees warmer than average. 76 in sunshine today in Atlanta. 79 tomorrow. You get into the 80s tomorrow in Rome and Athens as well. And then the rain moves in on Monday. Exits for a dry sunny Tuesday but cooler Wednesday Thursday rain moves in that system clears on Friday but notice Friday's high temperatures well cooler than where we'll be this weekend of course that is Halloween weekend enjoy the sunny skies and beautiful conditions this weekend I'll have a detailed Braves forecast meet you back here in 30 minutes this is CBS 46 news Good morning to you on this Saturday. It's 857. I'm Megan Packer and I'm Trayson Bragg. Here's a look at some of this morning's top stories right now. The GBI is looking for more possible sexual assault victims of a former charter school teacher. 63 year old Robert Vandal was a teacher at the Fulton Academy of Science and Technology in Roswell. He was arrested last month, accused of raping a former student. Investigators say that student was younger than 14 years old at the time of the attack. Now Roswell police believe there may be more victims and they're asking those potential victims to come forward. We've learned that Landon Andrews, a 14 year old killed at a house party in Cherokee County, was a student at Kell High School in Cobb County. A 19 year old was also shot. He's recovering. Investigators believe a fight that erupted at a party in Kennesaw is connected to the house party in Cherokee County. Police are asking anyone with information to come forward to help them find the shooter. We are minutes away now from the start of the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. This is a live look at all the action in Atlantic Station. Some of our CBS 46 colleagues are out there supporting fighters and survivors. We'll check in with our Rodney Harris in just a few minutes. And put on the pearls. The Braves are back home tonight for game six of the NLCS. The team arrived home to Truist Park last night after their three game West Coast trip against the LA Dodgers. We also have a crew live at the battery for you this morning. We'll go live there coming up on Wake Up Atlanta at 9. Plus, we'll cover more of the day's top stories and your weekend weather with Alexandra. All that and more on Wake Up Atlanta. We'll be right back at 9.